Okay, so in the previous video we we had two explanatory variables but without interaction, which means that um, if here we have the healthy healthy condition and here we have the sick condition and we have two genders, here is the male one, the female, the female and the male. Then if we fit the model that the expression is a function of the condition being health or sick plus this plus operator here means that there is no interaction between the condition and the gender this means that the effect of the gender is the same in both conditions and the effect of the condition is the same for both genders so in terms of b2 and b1 and b0 the model can be written that the expression will be the intercept b0 plus b1 with the condition x plus b2 for the gender now this means that um, regardless if the gender is 0 or 1, so male or female, the effect of being sick, for example, will be always be B1. We can see that if we plug uh, gender 0 here, so for the females it will be for gender 0, let's say that gender 0 is the female, for 0 gender For the healthy people, and so for zero health, meaning healthy people, so here it will be B0 um, for gender zero and health zero, and it will be B0 plus. B1, so it will be here, here it will be healthy 0 and gender 0, and here it will be um, healthy 1, gender 0. So the effect of being sick, if you are female, is the B1, this is the difference. Now for the females, for the other gender, it will be B0 plus B2 here for this healthy condition, and the other one will be B0 plus B1 plus B2. So he, in this case, it will be H0 gender 1, and here it will be H1 gender 0. A gender one. So in both cases, the effect of being sick will be plus B1. The same for both genders. Now, quite often this is not the case. So for example, if the values of a gene are like that, so here are the male healthy, and here are the female healthy and here are the male sick and here over here is are the female sick now it's clear from here that if you are male and you are sick you have some small increase this one in your gene expression so from here you go here but if you are female and you are sick then from this level you go up to this level so your effect is so large in this case the effect of being sick is not the same for both genders a more extreme situation is 
like that. Here again, healthy, sick. Now, here are the males, the females, the males, the females. So if you are male, if you are sick, you have an increase from this level to this level. So from this level you go here. If you are female, on the other hand, you have a decrease from this level down to this level here. So being sick and being a male gives you a positive effect. Being sick and a female gives you a negative effect. Now the only way to model that with linear models is by using uh, interaction terms. And we do that as follows. Say in R that the expression is a function of the condition being healthy or not. multiplied by the gender. So we use this symbol here. And in terms of equation, this means that the expression can be written as a function of the intercept plus B1 for being healthy plus we have written this as X. So X means here being healthy or not plus B2 for the gender plus a B3 for the condition multiplied by the gender. Now, <coughs> let's see what this these terms B0, B1, B2 and B3 means in this case. So if X and G is 0, this will be 0, this will be 0 and this will be 0 of course. So so if we have here x and g equals 0, then the expression will be B0. And this will model the expression level of these guys. So this will be B0. Now, if x is 1, and g equals 0, this means that we have sick, so let's, let's put that the males will be 0 and healthy will be 0 as well. So x1, g0 means that uh, sick males, sick males, we are here, for sick males we will have that the expression will be b0 plus now this one will be 1, so this will be B1 multiplied by 1, B1. This will be 0, and this one will be 1 multiplied by 0, 0, so this goes away as well. So it will be B1 plus B, B0 plus B1. So the effect of being sick in males, it will be this B1. Okay, so this is the effect of being sick when we keep the gender zero, when g equals zero. All right, now let's make this zero and this one. So x equals 0 and g equals 1, and then it will be plus b2. Again, this one will be 0, because it will be 0 multiplied by 1, 0. Okay, so this now, we condition that we have g1, gender 1. So gender 1 means female, in this case. And... Um, 
yeah we condition on on having healthy individuals and we're going to see what is the change from males to the females so from male to female this is the effect and this is b0 so if we keep so this is the effect of being female so g1 when we are healthy when we are healthy yeah when x is zero all right so <coughs> if the model would be let's let's draw it here just to have everything just to be able to see everything so if we could have no interaction then here we have the healthy here we have the sick here we have the male again here we have the female here we have the male sick and here we have the female sick or no let's see this example so let's do it again Here we have the female, here we have the female sick, and here we have the male sick. Okay, <coughs> if we could have no interaction up to this point, we will have just this model without this one. And we would say that, okay, if you are... Um, if you are male and you become sick, so the effect of sickness would be something like this one. The effect of the gender would be this one. Now, if the effect of being sick would be the same for both um, genders, then the females should not be here but should be over here we just put the question marks so these guys the females here should be here if we would assume that the effect of um, the gen the being sick would be the same in both genders this is because um the effect of being sick in males as we model it is this big so from here we go here from females we go here so this is should be the same amount as this one from here to here from here to here so this should be the same from here to here but females actually in reality are down here so the interaction term should bring should be so large that will bring these guys from this point that they should be down to here and another way to think about it is that the expression level is b0 plus b1x plus b2 gender and up to this point if we would model the females we would say that okay remember that females this will be one and being sick this will be one as well so if we could have the if we would not have the interaction term the expression level for the females could be b0 this could be 1 because it's sick so 1 multiplied by b1 it could be b1 plus since this will be 1 because we talk about females it will be b2 so th this tell us that the expression level of sick females should be b0 plus b1 which is the effect 
is this effect here plus b1 plus b2 which is this one okay this is what the model would predict for the expression level of females if we have no interaction but since we have the interaction then we should bring this point down here so this will be the b3 there okay i hope this is clear and we can make an example to see that okay let's imagine that we have this value so these four values are males healthy these four values are male C, uh, uh, females healthy these four values are male sick and these four values are female sick so if you are a male from values that are around two three something like that and healthy you go to something like 21 22 and so on so you have an increase in your expression values if you are a female from values that are around 30 you go to one two something like that so you have a huge decrease here so the effect of being healthy of the condition is different in the two genders in males we have an increase in the expression level in the females we have a decrease okay let's see how to how, what the model predicts okay I run this and then we will see what we would get if we would not put the interaction term so we say that the expression is a condition multiplied by the gender we need the multiplication to get the interaction and the result is the following so the intercept is 3.7 and this is the average value of these guys here so it's the average value of healthy males it's healthy males because healthy is the condition zero here and male is the um, condition zero as well here so it's it's uh, the level zero it's male and the level zero for the condition is the healthy okay so the zero zero is the reference and this is the corresponds to the intercept so the intercept is 3.7 it means that the mean value for these guys is 3.7 now since we have the interaction here the model is allowed to exactly fit the intercept to the mean value of the healthy men individuals okay compared to that if we keep the gender to males if you are sick so male sick it ha have a th th plus 13.175 compared to the healthy males so sick males are 13.175 higher in the expression level than uh, the healthy males and this is statistically significant because the p-value is smaller than 0 0.05 if we keep uh, the condition to health so for healthy individuals being a female has an effect of 33.45 so compared to the intercept if you are healthy female you go from 3 to 3.7 plus 
33.4 so something like 37 let's say so from this value plus this one you will go to 37 if you are healthy female now if you are sick female then your effect will be so we must look where we would go if the model would have no interaction we could go to 3.7 plus 13 for being sick plus 33 for being female but since there is interaction we should go from this sum here minus 46.95 and also this statistically significant so which tell us that um, in wh what it tells us here is that the effect of sickness is different for both genders so in one increase the other one decreases actually okay so I want to say here that if we have interaction we should use the interaction term because if we don't use it then the estimates would be totally wrong and we can see that here so if I take the mean of these guys Three point seven, exactly the same as the estimate of the intercept. If I get the estimate of this value, the average of this value, it will be thirty-seven point fifteen, which should be approximately the same as. 3.7 plus 13.175 let's see how much this is so 3.7 plus 13.175 would be uh, sorry i must i wrote probably something wrong here um So, okay, so this is the effect of the gender, sorry, because he, healthy people, male, female, okay, so I must start, I must start this one. Thirty-seven point fifteen. We had thirty-seven point fifteen before. Correct. So, being uh, sick and male. The average value should be this one, which is 16.8 something. And if I will add here the effect, the estimate of being sick and male, this one. Is exactly the same so we see that when we use the inter the interaction model the model with interaction we correctly estimate the average values of the groups if we don't use it then the estimates will be totally off you can see that here if I would just put a plus Now what we have is that being sick the effect is minus 10 compared to the intercept so from 15 we go to 5 something which is totally wrong because it takes together it tries to put the same effect of being sick in both genders or uh, the same effect of being female in both healthy and sick individuals which is not true actually. So definitely the estimates here are totally off 
when in reality we have an interaction between the variables. Okay, this is what I wanted to say. Uh, and of course, if we have a data matrix with several genes and individuals, we can apply this model for on every line of this individual, on every line of this uh, matrix, expression matrix, in order to get the estimates or the p-values. Um, we can see that in the following video.